everyone, if you are new to my channel, my name is Jess, I make lifestyle videos and we are going to do a fun rat video today where we go over different markings that a rat has and some of the names that we call different rats. This is strictly fun, um, it's nothing that talks about you know one rat being more valuable than another. Sometimes breeders will sell certain varieties at a more expensive cost and I don't know where I stand ethically on that, um, but rats are not different from each other because of their markings. They're all rats. They're all the same thing. So we're just going to get into it. My rats are free ranging in the room, so whoever I get first is who we're going to talk about. Okay, this one is Hazel. She is the rat that has by far the longest tail that is actually one color. Um, she is, I want to say, a year and a half now. But she has Dumbo ears, and that means that those ears go to the side, and it's just a mutation. They used to actually tell people that Dumbo-eared rats are friendlier than standard ear rats, but that's not the case. Um, she has black eyes, and you can see a light blue around them depending on how she moves. Oops. And then she's what you call capped, where her top head her top head, her head is black, it's one color, and then the rest of her body is white. Now she does have a couple spots here and there, but it's nothing really that alters her marking. So she would just be a capped Dumbo rat. The next rat that I have is the one who's cuddling me, and she is probably the hardest to explain. So this is Daisy, super friendly rat. She kind of has Dumbo ears. I mean, they're definitely not standard ears, but her ears are just so unique compared to a regular Dumbo. So I'm going to show you Thimble. And you can just kind of compare their ears. Um, thimbles are really full and circular. And <laughs> Daisy's ears are more squished together, and they are just so cute. When she was a baby, her ears were just huge in comparison to her. And as far as her marking goes, She's kind of an agouti rat because she has um, different coloring in her fur, but I'd almost dare say that she's more silver. So that just has to do with the coloring. Agouti is like a mixture of browns and grays and kind of reddish, and it's most like a wild rat. Now she is also something that we call a rex, and a rex is a rat that has curly fur and curly whiskers, and she has both of those. So she has her curly whiskers that you can see, and she has some curly hair and it's definitely more velvety hair as compared to a standard rat's fur that is more straight and she is so soft and we're going to be here a while because she, all she does is lick all the time huh so the next one that i'm going to show you is ebony who we also call ebby she is a rex because she has curly whiskers and curly hair she also has Dumbo ears, which come out in that circular formation. Now what's interesting about her is she has um, white on her paws, which sometimes people will call gloves. Now you can see on her fur that she kind of is thinning out. Rats that are hairless, if they have whiskers that are curly, they are actually double rexes that just don't have fur or the rex rats that don't have a lot of fur. They're not necessarily truly um, hairless rats. Now that's just research that I found. I don't know a whole lot more than that, but that is just something that is unique about them. And Ebby clearly likes to clean. Thank you. So with Ebby, she does have a white belly and I'm not really sure if she would be considered a Berkshire or not. A Berkshire has a completely white underside. Um, with the top being a different color, but hers doesn't go all the way through so I'm not quite positive But I do know that her hair is coarse um, and she has the white gloves Okay, this next one I'm going to show you because I don't know how long she's going to hang around This is Willow my agouti rat. She is by far the biggest rat that I have. She is a standard rat um, with standard ears and she just has the standard rat hair and there's not much more to say about her other than she does have the white belly. So again, is she a Berkshire or is she not? I don't know. She's a goody colored, but with the white belly. Let me see just how big she is. Okay, you're going down. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Bring on a different rat. Oh, now you're licking me? You're so weird. So I did you. I did you. I did you. 
So Thimble is an interesting case. She's the one right here. She has the Dumbo ears. She has black eyes, but she is considered a capped rat because she has a cap right here that is gray. So she has a color on her head. She also has this white marking that Alice had. Um, it's not really a high white. A high white is a white that goes all the way up your forehead. But the interesting thing about her is that she has just random silver gray markings here. And I should say she's technically a blue Russian. Um, but she's not... Oh, you're so cute. But she's not a hooded rat because she doesn't have a clear line going from her head to her back. Now, I know where I got her from and they were breeding kind of randomly, so that could be why she has the random markings. But she is a standard rat who is colored um, blue Russian and she has Dumbo ears, black eyes. I have a lot of rats on me. Oh, this one's so fun to talk about. This is a Siamese rat and when you get them as babies, they just look like beige rats. So what's so cool about Siamese rats is as they grow up, they get this little black marking on their nose and a little black marking on their butt and they turn white. She also has some black markings on her ears and Siamese rats tend to have ruby eyes. They're not quite red pink eyed, um, but they're called ruby eyed because they're a darker color. So again, when you get these ones as babies, they look beige and then they kind of grow into it not too long after. So that's the six rats I have in here. I have two other rats in the other room. I'm going to just talk about them because they have some medical things going on. Um, and then we, I'll show some B-roll. So there's Elise who is a black Berkshire rat. She has standard ears and her underbelly is all white with the black on top. Then I have Lucy who is a black capped rat with standard ears. Prior to those ones, my first rats, Tink and Alice, were both capped rats. One was gray or a silverish, and the other was a beige color, and she had that same marking that Thimble had. And then there was Winnie, who died really young in her life, and all I can tell from her is that she was beige. I don't believe she was going to become a um, Siamese rat. However, I can't fully tell. Um, she had, I believe, black eyes, so that most likely would say that she would be a beige rat. There's a whole lot of information in terms of markings and different things. Like you would look at a rat and she could technically be like two or three different things um, on top of like their coloring and what you call them. So there's like their ears you can talk about, their hair coat you can talk about, the markings on their fur or hair. Um, you want up? You usually don't want up. Are you sure you want up? Okay. This is Willow. She doesn't like people very much. She's like a rat rat. She likes being around rats, but she was trying to get up here. What are you doing? What are you doing? This is my goody. Oh. Uh, thank you. Oh! You just sneeze right in my face. So if you have some rats and you're not sure what they are or you just want to find out, you can send me a direct message on Instagram with a picture of your rat at jess.anns and I will go through the chart and figure it out for you or just let you know based on what I know. But you can also just Google search rat markings or rat colors, um, etc. and find that information too. But there's not always pictures that match the description so I can definitely help there. Again, this is totally just a fun video talking about the different types of rats that I have. But again, it has nothing to do with the cost or quality of a pet rat. Pet rat breeders look to breed based on um, temperament and health. And then they also will breed based on colors and markings. But in all honesty, in my humble opinion, that might not matter to anyone else. I truly don't believe the markings matter. And while we may want a certain marking, like it, it might be really cool to have a Siamese rat or it might be really cool to have a blue Russian rat, I'm not really a fan of getting charged more based on the coloring or marking. Now again, it depends on the breeder. It does take more work to get certain ones based on um, lines of breeding, but that's just kind of just my opinion of it doesn't really matter. This is just for fun. All right, that's it for this video. Make sure you are subscribed to catch my other lifestyle videos. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment down below or DM me if you want to know what 
markings your rat has or maybe what your favorite marking is and I will see you guys next time. Bye!